Hey there. Good morning, story time friends. Thanks for coming out and watching our story time this morning with us. Uh, I'm Mr. Chase. I'm the children's librarian at the Estes Valley Library. And I have a question for y'all this morning. Now, you probably get this question every morning before you go to school or whatever you guys are up to. There's something that we always got to do when we wake up. Your, your mom or your dad probably asks you this question and I'm going to ask it to you because I want to make sure that you guys are answering that question correctly. Now, did you brush your teeth this morning? Did you? Hmm? Did you? Did you brush them teeth? Because you got to take care of your teeth, right? You only got one set of teeth and if you don't take care of them, how are you going to eat your food? Some of y'all probably have your your baby teeth still, right? And they're going to fall out cuz the tooth fairy is going to come and collect them. You got to give the tooth fairy her dues. But what when those baby teeth fall out, you're going to get your real teeth coming in and you only got one pair of those. So you got to take real good care of them. And you got to do that by brushing your teeth every day. I like to brush my teeth twice a day in the morning when I wake up and at nighttime before I go to bed. And I even floss my teeth too. You know, your dentist will probably tell you that's a good thing to do as well. So this morning I invited a friend of ours over who you might recognize from one of our last story times. And he's got a lot of teeth. So I just wanted to make sure that he knows how to take care of them because he really needs his teeth to get by, but he should be coming. Yeah, he should be arriving. Oh, I think that's him knocking at the door. Let's see. Oh, oh, hey, come on in. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's our friend Snappy the crocodile. Hey, how you doing this morning, Snappy? I'm just doing real good, Mr. Chase. Uh, I hope I came over because you had something important to show me. Yeah, that's right, Snappy, I do. Now, remember earlier, right, what do we use our teeth for? To chew our food? But our teeth do something else for us, right? They give us something special. Can you guys think of what that is? I have something in my pocket. It belongs across my face. And I keep it very close at hand in a most convenient place. I'm sure you wouldn't guess it. If you guessed a long, long while, so I'll take it out and put it on. It's a great big happy smile. He, that's right, your teeth give you your smile, right? So you want to have a pretty smile, so you got to take good care of your teeth. Oh, I never thought about that. I don't really smile too much. I'm always just, uh, uh, you know, swimming around with my mouth closed. I don't want to swallow water yeah I get that snappy um, but you know you got to make sure that you're uh, you're taking care of your teeth because you have got to use your teeth to eat fish and stuff right how are you gonna catch fish if you can't if you can't use your teeth what's a what's a crocodile without any teeth mmm that's a really good point mm, what should I do well snappy I'm glad you asked I'm gonna show you what you got to do you gotta brush your teeth. You gotta take one of these and I'll help you out. I don't know if you're, what's that? This is a toothbrush. So this is a little tool that you can use to brush your teeth. I know crocodiles probably never seen one of these before. So this is how you do it. Brush your front teeth, brush your back teeth, brush the bottom and the top. If you brush them each and every day, then your smile will never stop. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, it does feel nice, huh? Nice to have a nice clean mouth. Oh, you know what? Uh, my son, Snippy, he, uh, he probably needs to brush his teeth too. Yeah, I'd reckon he does, Snappy. He's, he's gonna wanna have to keep good care of his teeth as well. Oh, do you mind if I go find him? And maybe we can, uh, brush his teeth? Yeah, sure. Go get them. Bring them over. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'll see you in a bit, Snappy. Well, Snappy, uh, we have a story that um, goes along with Snappy. It's called How to Brush Your Teeth, Snappy Croc. Let's take a look at this story, this story while we wait for Snippy and Snappy to come back. Little Croc's been crunching. Snip, snap, snip. It's time to help her clean her teeth. Watch out, she can nip. Ooh. Find the yummy gummy toothpaste. Take off the cap. What flavor of toothpaste is that, you think? Strawberry? Now she's clamped her jaws shut. Snap, snip, snap. Well, it looks like she doesn't want to brush her teeth. I wonder why. Explain that every crocodile needs a nice white smile. And even dragons clean their fangs once in a long while. Help her hold her toothbrush and give the paste a squeeze. Will she squidge it on her nose, her elbow, tail, or knees? Oh, that's not how you, that's not where you put the toothpaste. You gotta put it on your toothbrush. Show her how to brush her teeth. Up, down, up, down, up, down. In and out and roundabout. Move that brush around. You gotta make sure you get all the teeth in the back and the front. Don't swallow all the toothpaste. Rinse, rinse, spit. In your mouth, but it's not good for you. You don't want to eat that toothpaste. Help her reach the sink. Watch out for spitty bits. Ew. Ew. Tell her that you're proud of your little crocodile. Look in the mirror. Smile, smile, smile. That's a pretty fun book. You know, I think, uh, I think I hear Snappy and Snippy coming down the walk. Oh, yep, they must be back. We'll let them in. Oh, come on in. Oh, hey there, Mr. Chase. Oh, hey, how, hey, Snappy, did you find Snippy? Yeah, he's here. Oh, he's a little shy, though. Oh, come on, come on out, Snippy. Hmm. Oh. Hey, Snippy, how's it going? Oh, I see you have, uh... I see you have some braces there. Have you been to the dentist? Mm, yeah. Oh, what's wrong, Snippy? Are you a little, you a little shy? You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna help you take care of your teeth. Let's, let's take a look in there. Hmm. Well, I can see some teeth here that, oh, I can see some teeth that, uh, maybe need some, some cleaning. You haven't cleaned these teeth in a, ow, ow, Snippy! Why do you do that? Snippy, that's not very nice. I was just trying to help you, you know. Let's, let's try, come on. I'll show you what you gotta do here. Ow! ow! Snippy! That's very rude. Hey, Snippy, why are you doing such a thing? Oh, I'm scared. Snippy, it's okay. You don't have to be scared. You know... Maybe we need to go to the dentist. You know, maybe he can do a better job. Ooh, that sounds scary. It is a little scary, but you know, there's really nothing to be afraid of. The dentist is someone who can help you. And you know what? I have a story that I'll read you so you can find out. And so you guys don't have to be afraid of the dentist either. Let's read this story together. Curious George goes to the dentist. You guys know Curious George? Well, even he has to go to the dentist. Ouch, said George's friend. I've got a bad toothache. I must go and see the dentist. Well, it looks like the man in the yellow hat has a toothache. When they arrived at the dentist's office, a nurse said, 
Dr. Huggins will take you right away, sir. George, you wait out here in the waiting room, said the man. George sat down beside a little girl and her mother. The little girl looked unhappy. I don't want to go in there, the little girl said. Dr. Huggins won't hurt you, said her mother. But those machines make scary noises, the little girl said. A nurse came in and said, We're all ready, Mrs. Campbell. Would Melissa like to go in first? Melissa started to cry. There's nothing to worry about, Melissa, said Mrs. Campbell. I'll go first, okay? Ooh, she's really scared, kind of like Snippy. Mrs. Campbell left with the nurse. George picked up a book and started to read. He and Melissa waited. After a while, George got restless. Isn't that funny? George, curious George is reading his own book. <laughs> he got up and looked around. The door to the examining room was open. Hmm. What do you think Curious George is going to do? He's so curious. <laughs> George sneaked by the nurse and the desk and went in. In the examining room, a nurse was putting cotton into Mrs. Campbell's mouth. Mrs. Campbell was sitting in a strange-looking chair. It had all sorts of levers and knobs and pedals. How did that chair work? George was curious. The nurse was gone, so he went over and pulled one of the levers. The chair started to rise. He stepped on a pedal and the chair turned around. Woo! George gave Mrs. Campbell quite a ride, but Mrs. Campbell didn't want a ride. By this time, Melissa had come to the door of the examining room to see what was going on. She was smiling. Just then, the nurse came running back. You get away from that chair, George, she scolded. Quickly, she stopped the chair and took the cotton out of Mrs. Campbell's mouth. Mrs. Campbell looks all frizzled. Mrs. Campbell was very angry. That monkey was bothering me, she shouted. I'll go and get Dr. Huggins right away, said the nurse. Uh-oh. Oh, poor George. He was just curious. He didn't mean no harm. What's going on here? asked the doctor. George was scared and hid behind the chair. It's that little monkey down there, said the nurse. Suddenly, Melissa laughed. I think George is funny, she said. When can I get into that chair? I want to ride, too. Dr. Huggins smiled. Mrs. Campbell smiled, too. George, she said, I didn't like the ride you gave me, but you stopped Melissa from being afraid of the dentist. Thank you. See, there's nothing to be afraid at the dentist. You get to ride in a big, fun chair. You get to... Uh, put cotton in your mouth. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun, huh? But I'm sure there's a good reason for that. You know, um, Snippy, what do you think? You think that's uh, a little more reasonable? Uh, yeah, I'm not scared anymore. Okay, well, you want to try brushing your teeth? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, you gotta keep your mouth open, Snippy. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them every day. Brush them up and down and round. Brush in every way. Let's sing it again. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. 
Brush them every day. Brush them up and down and round. Brush in every way. Oh, that feels a lot better. I'm glad you like that, Snippy. You know, you got to take good care of your teeth as a crocodile because you want to get big and strong so you have big, strong teeth. That's real important for crocodiles, you know. Oh, thanks, Mr. Chase. I think we got one more story to read. And this story is called Alan's Big Scary Teeth. This is another fun book about a crocodile. And it's got fun pictures in it too. Alan's Big Scary Teeth. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. Oh, he's an alligator, not a crocodile. Excuse me, Alan. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was what he did best. He looks pretty satisfied with himself, huh? He must take good care of his teeth. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. That's a lot of brushing. After practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went snap, snap, and grr, grr. He said things like, I'm Big Scary Alan. Fear my razor sharp teeth. He made Excuse me. He made the frogs leak off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech in terrible terror. Ah! Bwah ha 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 ha! I love being scary, said Alan. He's really good at being scary, too. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp, relax, Finish the crossword in the jungle times. And take out his false teeth. Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. <laughs> Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams. My scary snappers, Alan would say, as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early, collecting wood, and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Snort, snort. <laughs> Phew! That was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush with a very familiar snap, snap. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth! My teeth! Will all my teeth! What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech. With laughter. Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. His teeth snap, snap. <laughs> They're all laughing at him now. He's not very scary without his teeth, is he? Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he had ever known. What would Alan do now? Oh, poor Alan. Poor Alan began to cry, just a bit at first. 
But then the tears kept coming. He howled and yowled more than all the jungle babies put together, and he could not stop crying until... The next morning, when all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth, We'll give you your back your teeth, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. And so every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener. Ooh, he's chomping up all the vines and stuff with his teeth. Alan the hairdresser. Snappy cuts. Oh, he's snapping off their hair with his teeth, using them like scissors. And Alan the dentist. He's showing people how to brush their teeth. But every night, he became Alan, the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. <laughs> I love being scary, said Alan. And sometimes, he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Grr. I bet that's pretty helpful for a beaver, huh? Because beavers need their teeth, too. The end. So, we learned what? That you gotta brush your teeth, right? Right, Snappy? Right, Snippy? Are you guys gonna brush your teeth? Oh yeah, of course. Definitely! Well, that's good to know. I hope you guys are brushing your teeth too, every day. Remember, twice a day. Thanks for hanging out with us and reading some stories. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Miss Melanie's going to be doing a Easter Bunny story time. So you guys be sure to catch that as well. Should be pretty fun. Uh, thanks to the Library of Friends and Foundation for sharing all of our online story times. And hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.